KXY 4's Grace Ditzler, a former Zag herself, working for you tonight with how international exposure for the Zags this weekend could mean more young people staying in our city. Grace? Right, Nadine, I'm a Spokane transplant. I'm originally from Seattle, and I know I'm not the only young professional who's heard from other people in different cities. Why would you want to live in Spokane? Everyone who lives here knows what this city has to offer, and many people are now hoping that the exposure from the Final Four will recruit young people to come here and to stay here. There's no question the Gonzaga Bulldogs heading to the Final Four is great publicity for GU and the city of Spokane. It's probably the best public relations we could ever imagine. And that exposure for the school means more college students wanting to come to Spokane and then hopefully stay in the city. The more recognition you get, the more things happen. I think uh, people are going to start realizing Spokane is a cool place to live. It's a cool community. We have good restaurants. We're getting great stores. The Macy's building, we've got great development things going on. Too. Ben Klunt is the president of the Spokane Young Professionals, a nonprofit that hosts networking events. Their goal, retain young professionals in the Spokane community. So you build a network of people that a lot of these graduates coming out of school don't have, where they might be able to grow in this community. Too. Chad White owns Zona Blanca and is another Spokane native. He left for the big city and decided to come home. And I think I get asked this question all too often, why would you leave San Diego and move back to your hometown? He thinks the city is rich with opportunity and says the Zag exposure will be good for the economy and convincing young people to settle down in the city he loves. My interpretation of it is like millennials are going to start kind of helping grow our city to be something bigger than it already is. I feel like the city is not getting older, it's getting younger. And for both Ben and Chad, it's an exciting time to be a Zag fan and a Spokane fan. It's an exciting time to be a Zag for sure. First and second, ESPN will be in town to highlight Spokane and the Bulldogs. And this week, Visit Spokane and a few other groups around town are going around decking the, the uh, city with all things Zags to take advantage of what they call a community resume builder. Reporting live at Gonzaga University, Grace Stitzler, KXLY 4 News. Oh, very exciting. Thank you, Grace.